In this video, we are going to solve fractional integrals by using Pythagorean functions. In the last video, I have solved fractional integral by using Laplace transform. You can also check that one if you are already familiar with Laplace transform. Even if you are not, I have tried to explain even the Laplace transform in detail. Uh, not in detail, but uh, in the way that's needed. Yeah, so let's begin with this video. Uh, we have this integral from 0 to infinity sine of x square dx so i will just show you how do i solve this integral and it's on you to solve similarly for this one they aren't quite different yeah first of all we will make a substitution y equals to x square since we want to simplify this and then we have y to the power 1 by 2 equals to x and then y to the power 1 by 2 y to the power minus 1 by 2 dy is just dx here and then uh, we have integral from 0 to infinity sine of y on uh, here 1 by 2 y to the power minus 1 by 2 dy in terms of dx now for this uh, integral if you can convert a sine y in terms of e then we might be able to solve it by the help of beta gamma functions because we know that beta of m comma n uh, is sorry I, I should say gamma yeah uh, gamma of t is just integral from 0 to infinity e to the power minus t t to the power um, gamma of x let's say gamma of x is and t to the power x minus 1 dt yeah. so this is just gamma of x yeah and uh, we will want to try to take it to the similar form and for that we can use one property of uh, e to the power i theta so you might probably know that e to the power i y is just cos y plus i sin y no that's why imaginary part of e to the power i y will just be sin y you can use this uh, thing over here yeah so that we can take it to e now firstly the integral from 0 to infinity is, uh, sorry 1 by 2 integral from 0 to infinity this is just imaginary part of e to the power i y y to the power minus 1 by 2 now the fascinating thing is imaginary part of e to the power i y we can also say something like this uh, imaginary part of e to the power i y times i to the power minus 1 by 2 you can just uh, take it over here since uh, this is just real thing so imaginary part of this times this real thing will just be equals imaginary part of uh, this whole product and we can all since this is a sum and imaginary part is linear so we can again take imaginary part out of the integral sign too so that's what does the magic over here because now we have something that's simplifiable and uh, and not just this in our uh, Laplace transform thing we have integral from 0 to infinity e to the power minus st uh, t to the power x minus 1 dt as gamma of x over s to the power x we can learn this uh, through uh, Laplace transform yeah see uh, when it was 1 uh, 1 to the power x was just 1 so we had gamma x but when we have s over here it's s to the power x in denominator we can make a substitution uh, let's say u as st and then you will just have a single variable and here in terms of du so by that substitution as well you can get this formula right now let's move uh, this is just now if we can use the Laplace transform formula over here so and since we have negative of negative i yeah uh, this will be gamma of 1 by 2 since so this is 1 by 2 minus 1 and over here we have negative i negative i to the power 1 by 2 this negative i is because 
over there in uh, e exponent of e we need to have negative sta so here we have negative of negative i y that's why we have negative i over here now uh, we can move forward for this negative i what we can do is uh, we can just introduce uh, i to the power 4 over here which is 1 and now we can uh, make the division so we have a gamma of 1 by 2 1 by 2 and this is just i uh, to the power 4 uh, let's say first of all let, let, let's just take uh, this in the numerator and then we will make some changes to the power minus 1 by 2 so this is it and now uh, let's just uh, not consider that for some time and anyway that's just one so gamma 1 by 2 and then this is 1 by negative i to the power 1 by 2 okay and now 1 by 2 gamma of 1 by 2 is just root pi and uh, this is so what was here gamma of 1 by 2 and i uh, okay and now uh, 1 is just i to the power 4 so this is uh, i cube yeah this is is it i cube no it's not i cube since uh, yeah over here negative 1 is just i square so this thing is i cube and 1 is just i to the power 4 so we have i over here we just have just i over here now we are around the end of this and i have just forward the imaginary part thing over here and this is imaginary part we, are, we just want the imaginary part of this thing imaginary part of this thing imaginary part of this thing and imaginary part of this thing okay now we have 1 by 2 imaginary part of we know the square root of i is just 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2i uh, that's we learn it in high school now the imaginary part of uh, all this thing uh, root pi by root 2 plus 1 root pi by root 2i the imaginary part is just this uh, root pi by root 2 so the answer is root pi by 2 root 2 so this is for sine of x squared dx from 0 to infinity uh, root pi by 2 root 2 if even if the, this was uh, cos x square we would just have a real uh, instead of imaginary part we will have real part over here and real part is also root pi by root 2 so we would have the same uh, answer for even for cos x square that's root pi by 2 root 2 so we know that why this is holds true and we have solved the integral thanks for watching